All right, y'all, it's 1.16 a.m. It's a little early. I usually like to leave it about close to 2. But I'm going to stop the QT and give me a gallon of water. All right, y'all, we pulling up to the gas station. The QT. Um, I had some water at home. I had a gallon of water at home. My son was drinking out of it. You can't drink out the your son. No, my son be backwashing. <laughs> Six, but yeah, man, we playing in the water. One time he was spitting back into the water on purpose. I was like, man, come on, man. I want some water, daddy. Go get some. All right. <laughs> All right, I got my water. If I take my pre-workout, I got the Mr. Hyde. Um. Pro tip, which I like to do, my water like right here, I like to freeze it. You know what I'm saying? If I have two things of water, I freeze this, and then I'll like fill it up, the rest of it with another water. I be having my water, perfect. Somebody always mess it up. Either my woman or my son. Tell I just woke up. All right, another pro tip. For people who's forgetful like me, I've been forgetting my belt in the gym lately. I ain't been going heavy. I don't really need it. So, but, pro tip. You forget stuff a lot, I'm going to put this right here on top of the bag, on top of my bag that I know I'm going to grab. I'm going to grab this bag regardless. So, if this is on top of it, I can't forget it. If this is in the back seat or somewhere else, I'm most likely going to forget it. Let's go. It's 1.30. Still early, but I I got to go to work anyway, so I can't go back to sleep. Probably going to work on my waves when I get home. Did a washing style. I thought I was going to get my hair cut. My barber. I don't know if they went out of business or not. Went past the place. It looked like it. I hope not, because... I really hope not because, um, you know, a haircut is personal, all right? A haircut is very personal. You know, in my opinion, it's a straight fact. Unless you don't really care, you just want your hair cut. You don't really care about how it looks. You don't really care if it's as close to perfection as possible. Me, I do. I'm a waver. I wave my hair up. So... As a waiver, I want to make sure my hair is good. You know what I'm saying? I don't want them to cut my waves off. I want them to understand when I say a 1.5 or a 2 guard. Um, you know. So, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people, when, they, when I say a 2 guard, they like, you sure you don't want it to go any lower than that? No. I'm going to wave my hair. It's going to lay down and wave up anyways. It's going to look good at a 2 guard. It'll look good if I cut it a 3 guard with the right, with the right barber. You know what I'm saying? As a waver, if you want your hair to have waves, anybody that's watching this that, you know, they've been trying to brush their hair, they brushing and brushing and brushing and brushing, and their hair won't wave up. And one of the main mistakes that I see people do, this ain't a wave video, but one of the main mistakes I see people do is they cut their waves off. You want that nice, low, crisp cut, and you might be cutting your waves off. If, you, if you're... Okay, I'm a coarse hair waver. You got coarse hair wavers, you got straight hair wavers, you got people with quote unquote good hair. I don't <laughs> I don't say that because if you, you got good hair, what that means mine is bad. So um, I'm a coarse hair waver. It's easy for us to get waves because you know waves are what? Laid down curls. Curls are what? Naps are curls. So the nappier your hair is, the easier it is for you to form some waves. But with a coarse hair waiver, it's easier for us to get forks and it's harder for us to take care of our wolf as we're wolfing. You know what I'm saying? It's harder for us at the washing style. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I'm going to kick some wave videos for y'all soon. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make sure I make sure this channel, this channel is called Reppin' Time Fitness. And it has not been about fitness for like two months. I got like two or three fitness videos out lately. 
because the gym opened back up. This, this this has not been about fitness. This has been about scratch-offs and, and, and celebrity news. And I don't even do celebrity news. I was talking about Doja Cat in my last video. But that needed to be said, you know. Um, I talked about Takashi 6 9 Two videos. One was kind of clickbaity because it was just a, a lottery video. But the other one I was talking about, you know, did Jay-Z sign on the Rock Nation or not? I don't know, but I don't even do celebrity news. But I was like, man, I need some footage out. You know what I'm saying? I can't be doing that. I, I need to keep y'all in a loop of what I'm doing fitness-wise. But if I wasn't doing anything fitness-wise, I ain't had nothing to put out. So I was in like a dilemma. But yeah, I'm gonna do some uh, wave videos too, man. Comment if y'all think that I should. You know, but we about to go hit this gym real quick. I hate this phone. Look how it looks. When I get in the gym, it ain't gonna look like that, though. It can't film certain things. It's bad on the road. Then a the cop's in front of me trying to go all slow. Look at him. Look at him. Y'all see him? <laughs> they trying to go all slow. They be wanting you, man. It's like 1 o'clock. It's 1 30 in the morning. They be wanting you to speed past them or do something. I'm not gonna do that. They be messing with people, man. I'm glad they're in front of me and not behind me. Because I had them follow me one time all the way from Pendleton to Anderson. And. It was like, I forget what time it was. It was early in the morning. And it was the road that we was on is like 45, 50 miles per hour speed limit. Why was they going? I'm going 30 because I feel like they're going to mess with me. I'm going 30, 40. I'm going about 40, right? Right now I'm going about 35. But, you know, the speed limit over there was faster than the speed limit right here where I'm at now. And why they follow me? Right nose to my nose to butt. Follow me the whole way, about a half an hour. I don't get it. But, you know, people defend they bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes they might not be on no bullshit. Some, some of them might be racist. Some of them might not be racist. You know what I'm saying? Damn, they going the way I'm going. That's where the gym at right here, where they turning. God dang it. I'm going to the gym too. <laughs> But yeah, some of them might be racist, some of them might not be racist. Some of them mess with people just because they ain't got nothing else to do. You know what I'm saying? I don't put nothing past nobody. It's another one up there. I hate, that's one thing I hate about being out at this time is because there's nobody else really out. And you're, if they targeting somebody, you're the only person, of course they're going to target you. You know what I'm saying? If you're the only person out here, dog, I'm going to the gym and get my gains. But, um, yeah, man. See, one car. Yep. That's that's why I like. I like to, you know, being on the road by yourself is kind of, eh, I like it, but, yeah. But being at the gym by yourself is awesome. I see one car. I try not to get it on film because it's not my business. I think that's that old dude. He's cool. But, you know, it's always somebody talking. You know what I'm saying? It could be one person. You know, you deadlifting, you definitely want your focus. If you're going heavy, you definitely want to be as focused as you possibly can be. And okay, there. Okay, this is an empty parking lot, right? Empty parking lot. I'm gonna try to catch it if it happens, but I'm trying to remember this. Okay, if there's one more person come here, they're either gonna park as close as they can to me. Or that other car. Most likely that other car probably gonna be going before I am. I just got here. He be if that's the dude I think it is, he usually leaves a little bit after I come. But uh all these spaces, they had to park right next to somebody. Just like the bathroom. All these P stalls, all these dookie stalls. People have to go right next. Why do everybody gotta be that close to everybody, man? I don't get it. Hate it. I'm parked right here. Bam, somebody either gonna park right here. I ain't worked out yet, so. Or they either gonna park right here. <laughs> right next to me. Close too, where they barely can't even open their door. Alright, I got my new shoes on. My weightlifting, uh, well, they're wrestling shoes. Um, I did a video of these a while ago. Well, a couple days ago. Um, I got my water, I got my belt, got my book bag on. Right now, what I'm doing is getting my mind right. Just thinking, I'm about to deadlift. 
I don't know how heavy I'm going to go. I have no expectations. I'm not going to do high reps. I'm going to try to get some heavy weight. Out of the main, majors lifts, the bench, the squat, and the deadlift, I'm trying to go moderate on bench and squat, heavy on deadlift. That's my plan. But if I don't get what I want to get, that's cool too. I'm just getting my feet back wet. I'm back in the gym. All right, y'all. Let me show you what I use in the gym real quick. Simple gloves, they're hard bringers. Um, they're still pretty new. Um, got my water slash tripod. I need some uh, recorder equipment. I need a camera while I'm talking. My charger, recording and listening to music. Takes a lot from your battery. I got my headphones, which are my blockers. See, I use big headphones in the gym, but that don't work. The headphones work, but it don't work for what I'm trying to do. And I got my belt. <coughs> Fun fact, true fact about a belt, beginners need to listen. A belt does not save your back. It's not for safety. I'm explain that later. But also, I'm going to show you all this bench setup. I'm not bench pressing. I'm deadlifting. But I'm going to show you what I need to start doing. Put the bench in a squat rack instead of benching on the actual bench press. That way, these things right here can save you. Let me show you what it looks like. You know, these can save you as it coming to your chest. If you get stuck, it'll get stuck on those instead of stuck on you. Now I need to put that higher and the bar was actually too high. I didn't adjust anything, but I will adjust it. If I was actually going to do it, I will adjust it to where that stops right above my chest or right at my chest. Okay, people, put your weights away. These are black weights on a black mat, so they pretty much camouflage. People can easily trip on them, or they can step on them, twist their ankle, not even see them. Okay, we're doing our first set. We already warmed up all that. Well, I, I like to work out by myself. This is 365 pounds. It's time for me to throw on a belt. <coughs> a belt helps brace you. It helps you lift heavier weights. A belt does not mean you can lift any type of way and your back is going to be safe because you got a belt. I know so many people that think that. I'm not going to call them stupid because I used to do the same thing. But a lot of people, I got a belt on so I won't get hurt. But it needs to be you against the bar. That's why I was trying to say something right there. Um, I'm, actually, you know, I'm actually doing a voiceover. Cut the music off. Because the music in the gym, copyrights. You don't want copyrights. Okay, you brace yourself, you get ready for the bar. You don't go up there like you're playing. You get tight. You squeeze your glutes, your legs, your hamstrings. Tighten up your whole body. It's a whole body movement. It's a compound movement. Pull the slack out the bar, then you lift. I didn't do it. Why? Because my, ham my hamstrings and my butt felt weird. You got a weird feeling? Bail out. It wasn't because the weight is too heavy. Okay, here's the same weight. <laughs> the same weight. It wasn't because the weight is too heavy. Anybody that been watching my channel seen me lift 100, 200 pounds heavier than this. I'm just getting back in the gym. I ain't deadlifted in probably over two months. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> I think my last workout before this quarantine was a bench press. That was like a month ago. So you make sure you're right. Make sure your glutes are tight. Get your mind right. This is why I work out by myself because people won't let you do any of them things. You got to focus. Your lats, put your lats in your pocket, <laughs> as they will say. Your feet width, your feet um, distance from the bar. That's the main problem I was having right there. It's these shoes right here. They're brand new. Um, I don't know where to put my feet, and I'm trying to find it, and it's frustrating. Now, somebody see you fail in front of them, they're going to come up to you and say this and that and the third. They will talk to you till you're blue in the face and they're blue in the face. Are you going to lift it? I was. When your focus is gone, you're asking for injury. You know what I'm saying? If you actually lift it. So I'm thinking like, what am I doing wrong? <clears throat> so this is what I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you right here. Bear with me. My feet are too close to the bar. The, the bar is touching my shins, which a lot of people will say that's how it's supposed to be. Let me show you something real quick. Okay, I pulled the camera out. <clears throat> I got it with me. See, look. You want to cut your feet in half. That's actually too far. You got too far, which is bad. Terrible. But you want to put you want to cut your feet in half with the bar. If you're too close, 
your shins is going to be at the bar. You want your shins to touch the bar? Yes, but you want it to touch the bar on your way down to grab the bar. You don't want it already touching the bar. Why? Let me show you what it looks like. I'm going to put the camera in. You don't want it too far either. You don't want it at your toes. You don't want it all the way at your shins. See what I'm saying? I'm going to put the camera on the side. Right about... Should have cut a little bit out. Right there, I'm going to move my tripod slash water bottle hydration in the gym. And I'm going to point it this way so you can see it at a different angle. <clears throat> okay, here I am, back in the scene. Okay, with my feet too close to the bar. Now, your width apart, is, it, it depends on you, whether you like conventional, whether you like sumo. But I'm falling back a little bit as I with my feet too far. That's awkward. Now I'm up with my feet too close. Now here's my feet too far. Now look what it does to your back. That's why you see a lot of people cat backing when they deadlifting. They they cat they back has an arch like a cat. That's definitely not good for your back. So you want your feet to basically like if my hand I was trying to show it wasn't in the scene, but you don't you want to basically put the bar in the middle of your feet. <clears throat> I could have made my back a little more neutral at the top there. Like I'm saying, I'm just starting. See, another thing is your hand grips. You got double overhead. Double. Now you got mixed grip. Now look, this is the same weight. Look how easy it went up. It wasn't because the weight is too heavy. People would be like, oh, you can't lift that. No, 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 no. That's why I lift alone. You got to find your form. See how easy that was? Let me show you. This is the same scene. You see, I didn't cut the scene or anything. That's the same weight, 365. That's actually baby weight for me. That's might be heavy for you. What's heavy for you or what's heavy for somebody else might be two different heavies. I've been lifting for seven years. This ain't nothing to me. I'm just finding my place. Now, when you do mixed grip, you do overhand, your, your bicep is in a safer position. But when you do mixed grip, usually your grip will be better, but it puts your bicep in danger. Because when you grab the bar, let me show you real quick in the mirror. If you bend your arm, you're trying to grab all that weight on your bicep, which you should not be doing. When you're doing mixed grip, you want your arm. This is important, y'all. You want your arm to be straight. I know people that tore their bicep off the tendon and their bicep would never heal again. I know a dude, he wasn't deadlifting, but he was doing something else. But his bicep tore off the tendon. And he said it will never heal. The doctor said it will never heal. He will walk around like that for the rest of his life. Okay, look at my shoes. These are my new shoes. Got to get used to them. What I'm going to do is when I find out where my feet placement needs to be on these shoes, I'm going to mark it. Okay, this is, I'm done. Put your weights away. I stripped my bar naked. I'm going to put that away. You see those plates? Put them away. You see those 25 pound plates right there? I'm going to put them away. Fun fact. When you see people deadlifting and stuff like that, when you do see videos and they're using bumper plates, these colorful plates are bumper plates. Those are 10s, those are 25s, and these right here are 45s. People can easily lie to you about how much weight they're lifting. I've seen people do it. All right, y'all, that's They'll done. They'll put them 25s. Welcome back to Just my car. Let's see if what I said was actually But I got a lot true. of information right here. Y'all take heat. Parking right next to your car. Stick to the end of the video. <laughs> I got a lot nope. of information, diet information. Everything. And the only reason why is because nobody else is here still. If somebody else would have popped up, they'd have been right here or even next to the other dude car. But yeah, I had a little quick short. I'm satisfied with what I got. Didn't injure myself. Didn't get the heaviest weight. Didn't get a lot of reps. <laughs> but like I said, that's my first deadlift in two months. So I'm just finding myself back. Also, these new shoes, got to find out where to cut my feet with the bar. <clears throat> That's very important. All right, y'all, the biggest oh, difference was, you see where the red meets the black on my tongue? I don't have that right here. You know what I'm saying? So, it was like a certain, like right there, I would meet the bar with that. That was in the middle of my foot. Yes. These shoes actually were better. Not this one. Thomas. Yes. Hey. <laughs> So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mark these. I don't know if I'm gonna mark them. I'm gonna put a non-permanent marker. I don't know. I don't know exactly how I'm gonna do it, but I'm gonna figure it out. But I need to mark these to where 
I cut my foot in half. You know what I'm saying? Not literally, but you know, with the ball. It's not stupid. <clears throat> I can that is about three o'clock in the morning. Excuse my dust. I need to clean my car inside and out. But uh, three o'clock in the morning. <clears throat> Let me cut that flash off because I still got to talk to y'all. Actually, looks a little cleaner with the flash off. Look at that. <laughs> Yo, I gotta clean everything. Brand was a brand new car. This is 2018, so it's a two-year-old car. I'm the first owner. <laughs> Still paying on it, of course. But uh, what was I finna say? Oh, pro tip. All right, what just happened in there? 365. First, first deadlift back. Not too shabby. That's warm up weight for me, actually, but I'm cool with it. I, I expect that. It's my first workout. I'm not going to kill myself. Nobody else in the gym but me and this old guy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We spoke a little bit here and there. But focus. Focus and form is very important. If I feel like my form isn't 100% A1, I'm not going to lift 100% of what I can lift. No, <laughs> no, no way. I'm not gonna go for 100% maximum weight, you know what I'm saying, if I feel like my form ain't A1. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these shoes and I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna get me a marker. And I'm gonna, uh, when I find where I should cut my feet with the bar, I'm gonna get me a marker and I'm gonna mark right there. <laughs> I'm gonna get home i probably put that scene before this scene. I'm going to get home. I'm going to show y'all my old shoes and where I used to cut my feet. Cut those. <clears throat> like I did last video, I'm going to drive a different way. I'm not going to drive all the way home on camera. Because people always ask me, where you live at? I see people every day and I don't get it. They meet each other, just, just met. I'm gonna come by your crib. And they cool with it. I don't want a whole bunch of people in my crib. No. I don't want people in my house like that. I don't want people I know for years at my house like that. Not all of them. <coughs> There's a few. Small circle. Things happen. I got a story about that. Okay, I was doing construction. I could talk about this because it ain't, I ain't gonna say no name. The dude already went to jail. <coughs> did his time and it wasn't my business it wasn't nothing to do with me but this dude I used to do construction with he used to like to tell his business a lot and what what happened was okay he had, he had met a friend from years ago matter of fact let me start over he met a friend from years ago who wasn't his friend years ago it was a dude that used to bully him at school <coughs> and he wanted to be a good Samaritan Dude met the dude, and the dude was like, yo, um, I'm having problems with my girl, my woman, and we, you know, I don't have nowhere to stay, and this and that and third. So out of goodness of his heart, <coughs> he let dude um, stay at his house. And this is to the extreme, of course. This is different than somebody just chilling at your house. But this is the extreme. He let dude live at his house until he get back on his feet. <coughs> He's going to let him stay a couple nights or whatever until things iron out. Long story short, we used to do 10 hours at, uh, we was doing construction, we used to do 10 hour um, shifts. As soon as he went to work, dude cleaned his house out. <laughs> Not cleaned his house, as cleaning the house, no, he cleaned, he took everything. TV and everything. When he came back home, <coughs> dude didn't have nothing. Everything, they even took his food. Like, they took everything. He must have called somebody, who knows? He might have had a U-Haul or something. He took everything, big screens, everything. You name it, he took it. <laughs> That's what you get for having people over your house like that. I mean, it's not his fault. I mean, it's his fault. But he was doing something out the kindness of his heart. You know what I'm saying? God gonna bless him for that, I'm pretty sure. You know what I'm saying? This is years ago, he probably already got blessed. <laughs> but no, I don't want people in my house. And it ain't even just that. It's the fact that, okay, <coughs> to me, 
Home is sanctuary. Home is sanctuary. Okay? If I know you at work, and I see, I do 12 and a half hour shifts. So if I know you at work, I definitely seen you enough. If I know you at the gym, we can talk about whatever we want to talk about while we at the gym. If I know you <laughs> from wherever, we could be Facebook friends. We could be, you can watch my YouTube channel. If you ever start one, I can help you out with yours. You know what I'm saying? At least to get where I'm at. I ain't no big YouTuber, but I'm just saying, I tell people this every day. You know? And they be trying to, like, <clears throat> really investigate where you live at. So what is it next to? And it, you be like, dog, I'm basically trying to tell you I don't want you to know where I live at. <clears throat> But yeah, if you made it this far in the video, um, definitely, you know what I'm saying, like, subscribe, comment, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, man, I mean, people, man, plus I live two places anyway. I live in Anderson and I live in Clemson, so, <laughs> you know, what do you mean by that? It's complicated. <laughs> So people that live in Anderson, I tell them I live in Clemson. People that live in Clemson, I tell them I live in Anderson. It's complicated. <laughs> I mean, to, to each his own, though. If you like being in people's faces, I don't like being in people. People know that about me. I don't like being in people's faces. But what was I talking about before I talked about that? Because people that talk too much, I don't get it. Why do they always, they don't talk to other people that talk too much because they want to be heard and not... They don't want you to talk to them. They want to talk to you. That's probably what it is. I'm about to say, why do they always talk to the people that don't talk a lot? Why do they always try to talk to the people that's trying to avoid them? It ain't that I don't like you. You know, everybody's different to each his own. You talk a lot, I don't. <laughs> but yeah, man, your form better be A1. You know what I'm saying? If you are lifting weights, especially heavy weights, heavy weight with bad form, equals what injury you're not just going to be hurt in the gym either you're not going to just be oh, i injure myself on a deadlift so i can't deadlift it's not just going to affect your deadlift it's going to affect your life outside of the gym you can't pick up your son if your bicep uh, is torn off you can't you can't you can't play basketball with your kids if, if your back messed up <laughs> Okay, you got to work. You know what I'm saying? You got to remember that. You got a job. It's physical, maybe. You got to work. But then people do things wrong, and they don't get the results they want, and they say, oh, or they get hurt. They say, oh, I don't deadlift because that's a bad workout. That's a, it's dangerous. I hurt myself because you did it wrong. That's just like people that diet, and 